Do you utilize Airtable and want to integrate it with your JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Jotform workflows and Airtable and you would like to integrate the two, you can now do that. Let me show you how. Top left hand corner, we're currently in my forms. I'm going to jump over into my workflows. And for this example, we're going to click the top left create workflow button. And I'm going to utilize a one step approval for this. And you can see with that, it went ahead and created a very simple one-step approval. We have our starting point up here, the approval process, and then we have our approval and denial emails. So up at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and complete the setting by choosing a form. And I'm gonna choose our small group session. So we have our form. Once that form has been submitted, it's going to come to right here for approval. We have our settings, approve or deny. We have our approvers, and we also have our completion role by majority, all, one person or a certain number. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to just one person. And I'm gonna bring the end down a little bit, and I'm gonna get rid of this because what we're gonna do is we are going to add in Airtable after they have been approved to be added to Airtable. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose add an element. We're gonna jump over to integrations right here, Airtable. We'll do create a record. And then we can bring this right up here. So I'm gonna to choose to complete settings. And if you haven't already authenticated your Airtable account, you'll do that here at this step. And I'm gonna go ahead and add action. Next, we'll choose our base and we're gonna choose the free plan, the customer request base. We'll choose our table. It's gonna be table one. Then we're gonna map out our fields. We'll go ahead and choose our name is going to be name and we can add as many fields as we would like. We can go ahead and choose our status is going to automatically going to be to do. And we can also create a new record when the submission is edited. I'm actually going to uncheck that box. Let's go ahead and save and we are good. Now we can click and drag and connect everything together. So once this person has been approved, they're going to get an email to let them know, yes, it has been approved and it's going to create a record over in Airtable and then the process is going to end. So let's go ahead and go to publish and let's open in a new tab and we'll fill this out. We'll do John Smith and we'll submit. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over into JotForm and because I'm in JotForm, I can easily switch into my inbox. So top left-hand corner, we're in Workflow Builder. We can jump over to Inbox. Now, if I was away from my computer and I wasn't in Inbox, I'm also going to get an email to let me know that John Smith just completed something and it's my job to go in and either approve or deny. So we can see right here, we have John Smith in progress. So I'm gonna go ahead and approve that request. And we can see we have some integrations running and we can see that it created a record in my Airtable and we can click right here and go straight to the Airtable, but I'm gonna go ahead up to my top and I'm gonna do a quick refresh. And here is John Smith's information in my Airtable. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about to integrate Airtable with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.